Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up interactive light system to use it with your custom objects. I will demonstrate how quickly you can prepare your static meshes or materials to make them compatible with this system. If you haven't seen previous video yet, go ahead and watch it first as it will help you to understand how interactive light system works. Ok, so let's get started. For this demonstration I will use one of the sample levels you can find in the launcher, a sci-fi space station. You can download it for free in the Learn tab. Ok, I deleted matinee actor and all cameras from the level as we just want to walk across the space station. The ILS package comes with some drag and drop examples, but if you didn't find anything that fits your game or project, you can use custom objects as well. Ok, let's say you have already created some light meshes with materials, like this run and sailing light for example, and now you want to add interaction, allow players to switch it on or off. First, you need to decide whether you want to use a point or a spotlight. For this example, I will go with the spotlight. Navigate to interactive lights folder and find blueprints. Drag and drop spotlights template into your level. Before we make any adjustment to light object, let's go ahead and import our static mesh. As you can see, dynamic material instance has been automatically created. We will edit this material later. Ok, let's go ahead and rotate and move the light into a correct position. Normally, you would place the light inside the blueprint where this process is easier than inside the editor. I will show you how to do that in another example, but this one is fairly easy so I can eyeball it quickly. Ok, let me adjust some of the blueprint's parameters so I'm happy with the look. Ok, that will do. To simulate light being switched on or off, click Enabled checkbox. It works, but the material is not affected at all. It's because the ILS doesn't know which parameter control emissive input inside the material. Fortunately, it's a quick fix and you don't have to build a new material from scratch. All we need to do is to find those parameters and give it the proper name. Let's go ahead and open the material. In this material instance, we've got some scalar and vector parameters. These two are the ones we are looking for. Now, let's find and rename them in the master material. Interactive light system uses ILS underscore emissive parameter for the emissive intensity and ILS underscore color to control light's color. Ok, we are done here. Let's apply the changes. Ok, great. Now you can adjust it directly in the blueprint details. Next and the final step is to add a light switch. Navigate to Blueprints folder once again, but now drag and drop light switch into your level. Say we want to control our light with an F key, so let me change it. And maybe let's add a text label to be visible within this volume. I will just adjust the position a little bit. And maybe add text color. Ok, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and test it. Great, it works perfectly. Ok, but what about another way of creating your own light blueprints? Let me use more complex example for that. 
This wall bank filler is fine. I will use a spotlight again, but instead of drag and dropping it into level, I will create a child class. Right click on the spotlight and choose create child blueprint class. Let's give it a name. Ok, now we have to load this mesh and place the light in the correct spot. Go ahead and click the static mesh component on the left and load the mesh here. As you can see, widget axes are disabled and I cannot move it. To unlock the light, click blueprint root and select use default position. If you don't know what is this checkbox for, watch previous video. Ok, now we can select the light and move it around. Ok, we are done here. Compile the blueprint, save it and let's test it in the level. Instead of drag and dropping it into level and trying to place it in the same spot, make sure our new blueprint is selected in the content browser and select an object we want to replace. Press right mouse button and choose replace selected actors with. And that's it. Luckily, this object uses the same master material as our previous example, so we don't have to do anything more. Let me add a new light switch really quickly and connect it with this object. This time I don't want to use any key to switch it on or off, so I will uncheck control by key checkbox. I want the light to be switched on while I'm inside the volume and to be switched off while I'm outside. Ok, that's it, let's test the level once again. And there you have it. Ok guys, that's going to be it for this video, if you get any questions just let me know and thanks for watching.